What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of you for The Witch and the Beast. Uh, this is episode two, and with me, as always, I have Blue Spade. Yeah, unlike the first episode, this one uh, mainly sets up the, you know, well, uh, the main character's conflict. Well, their main investigation for, uh, for I guess, a witch, uh, a witch serial killer who's mainly just hunting down young women at night. Yeah, uh, it also kind of further goes into Yudo's character and uh, basically just, just sort of further div- like kind of gives it well gives us more interactions between Yudo and and uh, Ash Ashap, uh, basically just sort of emphasizing how her kind of short temper and her impatience at trying to find the witch who had cursed her or who had put or at least put uh, put Yudo in that body. Uh, that that's kind of her main reason for even cooperating in the first place with Ashaf. Um, of course, we don't we haven't really gotten any kind of a flashback yet to show like uh, how they originally met or anything. I'm assuming that's probably going to come later. Uh, but so far, it's just kind of uh, you know establishing at least why she's even why she's even there and why she's cooperating. Yeah, I mean, with them. she she doesn't seem to be happy. you know at least working uh, with Ashaf or. You know the organization well, works for. Yeah, I mean, because she she tells him like she's going once she gets her original body back, she's going. Yeah, to I mean, obviously, like Asaf knows this, and it's it's pretty obvious that he, he's yeah. more than well prepared. You know, if it comes to that situation. Um, but yeah, much much of this episode is just mainly uh, these two characters investigating uh, like uh, the, uh, this number of cel- serial killings that's happening around in, in a nearby nearby city uh, of a witch killing young young women. I, I don't think they were really doing yeah, that. Just well, the, like, like they were, they were kind of get. Uh, well, at the end of the episode, they, uh, they begin cooperating with the the uh, the police there, uh, with with the uh, the murders. But the the episode mainly just focuses on the, uh, uh, just Gudo and Ashaf just going and uh, kind of solving different problems in these different places. Uh, one of them had to de- had to do with them. Well, at least Ashaf like trying to, uh. uh kind of trying to uh, fight against this like magical beast that had gone out of control. Uh, and then another, another one where Gudo thought they were going to deal with a, uh, a witch ended up being a case where they were just trying to unlock some kind of a, a box that had been, I guess, sealed by magic, uh, which really pissed off uh, Gudo because she had, you know, she, she had been kind of misled into thinking it was going to be a witch case. Uh, but then uh, we find out that apparently when uh well we also learn a little bit more about the organization of magical resonance in this episode at least in terms of how like the ashaf and Gudo handle these different cases they'll basically get like a, a letter from them uh requesting their help and uh apparently a black letter means that or a letter with a black envelope means that it has it's a witch case um uh, so that that's kind of what leads into the this witch case having to do with these uh, women being murdered. Um, and I will say I, I was glad that at least they didn't really hold back in terms of any kind of like censorship of the anime where they actually, you know, of course we saw in the first episode, they obviously they didn't, but uh, in this episode we see a little bit more of how, just how brutal the series can be with uh, these women being murdered in pretty, in some pretty grotesque ways. Uh, pretty much her, their body just, uh, it's just kind of like exploding yeah. essentially. Uh, but, but yeah, but they eventually meet meet up with uh, an investigator uh, uh, named Officer Hay- Haynes or Hines, uh, who, who it turns out she she yeah. is actually a mage uh, in, in ve- investigating these murders. Uh, so she she ends up uh, meeting both Asaf and uh, Guido. Uh, well, basically, uh, well, Asaf uh, uh, asks um, Miss Hay- Haynes like if they can cooperate with each other to. <clears throat> to invex- investigate these murders before, uh, I guess they say like uh, the International Paladin Corps gets called in to to take care of the whole situation themselves. So Heinz Haynes is of course, uh, yeah, you know, like she she has her own personal reasons as to why she wants uh, to investigate these uh, murders because uh, apparently that you know something happened to her in the past that uh, that ma- makes her want to in- investigate. Uh, these particular murders. So she, I guess she re- reluctantly accepts their offer to, you know, to help, help them out with these murders. And yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much where, where the episode ends off. 
but of course we, we do see like an you know another murder committed by this uh by this old witch uh kill, killing off another victim so yeah that's that, that's pretty much the uh, the episode so far yeah uh i will say that i mean i i like that the series so far is is pretty faithful to the source material at least uh because from what i can tell they're there hasn't really been much of anything that's been cut out and it's, it's pretty, you know, pretty at least faithfully following the story. Um, so I don't really have any complaints there. Uh, I was a little bit afraid that they were going to kind of cut some corners when it came to at least some, uh, some, some of the, like the beasts, uh, that they show, which where they showed that one, the magical beast in this episode, they didn't in the last episode, fortunately, but, uh, if there was any CG that was used, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, it seems like most of it, at least, is hand drawn. So at least there isn't really much of that. Um, I I mean, some people, of course, have had complaints about, I guess, the way the um, the the uh, the general like um, I guess the color palette of the series is. But I don't really have much complaint in that regard, to be honest. Uh, I think so far it's it's uh, it looks fine, um, and they're you know it's like I said, it's most, mostly faithful to the manga. Um, so I don't really have any complaints there. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, it was a slower paced episode, but it's sort of just, I guess, you know, setting up this, the the, sort of, I guess the next, uh, like, you know, short story arc in the series. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't really have, like I said, not really much to complain about, at least not yet. So, uh, I mean, I I don't know if you have anything else to say about the episode though. Uh, like, like you said, it was slower paced. Uh, but I like how it kind of is slowly sort of giving us a little bit more information about the uh, the world and the organization of uh, the Association of Magical mm-hmm. Resonance um, and just also Gudo and Ashraf's character. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I was I was kind of initially concerned about like how the show was going to go. I mean, it's like I, I'm still on the fence about like uh, how the show is turning out so far, uh, especially with the slow pacing uh, this episode yeah. presented. But yeah, I. You know, I, I'm willing to, you know, to keep, you know, keep going, uh, uh, probably until the, the end of this series. But yeah, so far, so far, it, it is, it, it's okay so far uh, from what I'm seeing. You know, e- even though I, I haven't read yeah. the manga, so I, I don't know um, what what else they're going to be showing off for for the rest of the show. But yeah, it's just, it, it, I just mainly due to my experience of watching, um, what was it, Kingdom Kingdoms of uh, Ruin. Uh, in the last season, which uh, had me on the fence of, about watching this, uh, but yeah, I, th- I think uh, I'll I'll give this uh, you know I'll give this sh- show a, a chance uh, you know th- for another several weeks. Yeah, I I mean I will say like the only thing that I'm not too sure about is like the ending theme they chose. It it seems like it just doesn't really fit the series. I I'm I'm not sure. Like I, I like the art style, I guess, but. Like the song itself just seems it, it kind yeah. of seems a little bit out of place, um, but yeah, I mean other than that, I thought everything's okay so far. Um, I think the biggest thing people who have at least read the manga are gonna notice is just that the 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 main appeal, like at least one of the main appeals of the manga, is just the art. The art for the manga is just really it, it's one of those very very heavily detailed mangas, and there's just a, a lot like it's the art. The art style is just very good, and it's. It, I didn't really think the anime was going to be able to really live up to the amount of detail like that we had from the manga. Um, and I mean, I, I think they're. I, I will say at least I think they're doing the best with what they have. But you know, of course, like if you if you go from the manga and you go to this, it's going to be kind of night and day in comparison uh, when you you know in terms of just the general art style. Uh, but you know that that's kind of to be expected from I guess a studio like this. It's not a big animation studio or anything so it's not going to look incredible um so i i kind of I, I mean before this even came out i kind of tempered my expectations a little bit uh that you know just knowing it's not going to it's not going to look anywhere near as good as as anything from the manga and you know for the most part i would say you know it, it doesn't it, it tries but you know it just I, I feel like you know it's just being a smaller studio they you know it's it's not going to look any anything close to that but um I, I am at least glad that they're not, uh, you know, it doesn't really look, I guess, as cheap as I thought it might. Uh, so, but I guess we'll see. We're, we're only on episode two, so there's still there's still time for them to, you know, do some some stuff to maybe cut corners or 
or whatever. But um, yeah, but that all being said, guys, uh, until next time, we will see you all later.